So over here, you can see that I have a text box with some text in it. And if you want to do formatting to the texts, you can go around over here and here you can see that you can change around this into medium right here. You can change this around into bold and so forth and do some basic formatting for the text. But if you want to access out more options, then you can go around over here and click on the type details option right here and you get more option for text formatting as you can see right here. So here you can see the preview as well. And here on the top, you can access out the alignment option. So you can align this onto the left, onto the center, right, or even justify this. So you have an equal spacing as you can see right here. And the decoration you have none, that is no decoration. You can add an underline or you can have none or select out a certain portion of the text right here, just like this, and then click on underline to underline that out. Similarly, you can also select out text and strike this out over here. So you can see you can work around with the paragraph spacing right here. You can work around with paragraph indentation as well. So if I were to go around, you can see that the first uh, first line for each of the sentence, uh, the indentation happens once you go around with par paragraph indent. Similarly, you can go around, select out text and turn it into a bullet list or a number list right here. And you can also see the list spacing right here, as you can see, and adjust out the space for both of them. So if you were to go around right here, you can see that the numbers appear automatically. So over here, you have case option. The letter casing right here is normal right now. So let me just select this. If you were to cl click on this one, everything becomes capital. Everything becomes small now. So there's normal title case. There's small caps right here, which means that the small letters is a smaller version of the capital letter. And then you got this right here, as you can see. So you can go around, select out everything, turn everything into small caps. So that is how you can go around with the formatting over here as well. So there's capital spacing over here as well. You can go around and there's a bit of a spacing change once you enable this out, as you can see right here. You can select these out as well and enable this right here or disable this. And you can see that there's a bit of a space after uh, the for the capital right here, as you can see. So that is how you can work around with text formatting with type details inside of a Figma design file. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.